Like, why wouldn't you have a pit crew in that case? Mm -hmm. It just seems silly. Here we go. Go! Are you in a... Are you in the prototype, are you? Oh, shit. You're in the prototype, aren't you? I am. You're in the Sebastian Vettel? Yeah. It's yeah. not the same, right, man? I don't know. You use top soda at about 1,500 horsepower. No idea. Uh, is it turbocharged? Or, yeah. You see a little turbocharged bar? Yeah, yeah, it is turbocharged. Okay. It's probably about 15 ish. So one thing I found odd, uh, well, I guess it's getting a little nitpicky, but all the really new, um, F1 prototypes that are built that are, I forget what they call it again, but it's basically the class where they can't compete, but they allow them to do a, a, a lap time just to show off. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the new F1 prototypes uh, do not use tur uh, turbochargers or superchargers. Or but isn't, isn't NA tuning work better in the end? Well, in NA tuning, you get a, a flatter power band. But a lot of the new cars are using e-chargers now. Uh, that's... Like, you know how turbochargers ran off the exhaust? Yeah. Um, it, it gives you a lot of lag, so you don't got a lot of horsepower on the low end. Superchargers off the crank, but of course, friction, blah, 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 blah. E-charger is independent from the engine. It's, well, as the name implies, electronic. Mm-hmm. I thought they wouldn't. Well, I guess there's only so much the developers of this game could do, really. Yeah. This friggin' Red Bull car, though, is a beast. Yep. It's impossible to drive. Um, can you imagine they built a real one? Oof. I can see a lot of dead people. Yeah. I never noticed this about the, the uh, was it, the Bucati variant? Yeah. It's like when you, if you're going at high speed and then you brake, this little thing pops out of the, the boot that, oh, like, yeah. slows the car down. And a spoiler. And then when you slow down it, when you get to a slow speed, it falls away again. Uh, there's a couple cars with those, actually. The Lexus LFA. Uh, any of the, uh, what's it called? Shit, I don't know. Mitsu Uh, yeah, the old Mitsu had it. Uh, there's a Mitsu prototype of the, uh, the SLR McLaren. Uh, or no, not the SLR. Or, yeah. Uh, well, any of the, uh, Mercedes SLRs or the AMG or the McLaren SLRs have the, uh, they call that a live spoiler. But after this, we'll do the same race, but I'll tune your uh, car so it's normal. Got way too much of a handicap. Oh, but you, you, are, you are still keeping up with me despite the fact. If this were a different race, like I suck at this Cote d'Azur or whatever it is. Right. I could probably stay close to you, but right now I'm just sticking to walls. I just like the corners in this race. Remember this being one of my favorite endurance races in the, uh, the in Grand Turismo 4. Like, I hated this there? place in endurance, actually. It's just... It's fun. You mentioned that before. What is your favorite track? Uh, single favorite is probably the Nuremberg Ring. 
just because I probably want to do a lap there in real life. Uh, that would actually be really fun, eh? Because that's like, that's like the one sort of racetrack that you can actually, like, pay money and drive. Well, no, there's a couple. If you're into rally or, um, uh, well, whatever. I mean, in the, I mean in this game. Oh, yeah. In the first one, there was Pike's Peak. Uh, and actually, four of my friends have all done laps. Uh, well, not laps, but uh, they all have uh, uphill climbs at Pike Peak and Pike's was Peak. Pike, was Pike's Peak in the first game? Uh, I, I forget if it was the first or the second, but it was in one of them. I do remember that. I remember there was a track in the third one called El Capitan, which was supposed to be like uh, something to do with Pike's Peak. It could have been the name of a specific uh, stretch from Pike's Peak because Pike's Peak in real life is like it's freaking huge. It's literally wrapping around Pike's Peak Mountain. Yeah. That's one that I wish, or actually any level like that, where it's not. Uh, the course where you're lapping, where it's just like an uphill, then a downhill. Uh, I think they should have had that as a part of this. Crap. I think the, um, the first track that we did, I'm pretty sure that was, um, like, it's an original track, but it was supposed to sort of catch the bright speak a bit. Oh, uh, Edgar Norwin something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, well, what track do you want to do now? Um, it's up to you. Uh, most tracks I'm good at. There's only a small handful that I, I really suck at. Alright, I'm gonna use the Minolta. Alright. As far as tracks go, let's do, um... Oh, uh, let's do Nürburgring. Alright, uh... I'll get in the car that was built to do Nürburgring. CLK. Oh, uh, yes. How does that compare to the Minolta? Uh, it's a little bit slower, but it's tight as hell on the turns. Depends how you race. Uh, uh, if you know how to run a Minolta, it, it'll kill a, a CLK. On the other I'm hand, I might actually have a chance then. 